This is Covering the Spread, part of the FanDuel Podcast Network. We have got another Dinger Tuesday on tap at FanDuel Sportsbook and some pretty intriguing odds for home runs for today across Major League Baseball. We're going to dig in today and outline my favorite baseball bets at FanDuel Sportsbook, including a pair of home run bets that I like for your Dinger Tuesday consideration. So let's dive on in and get you ready for Tuesday night. This is covering the spread right here on the FanDuel Podcast Network and FanDuel Research. My name is Jim Sonis. I am a managing editor of digital media for FanDuel Research, here to break down Tuesday's MLB betting slate and let you know where I see value for today at FanDuel Sportsbook. We'll do all that here in just one second. But first, a reminder, a double show day today on your Tuesday, because later on today, Dr. Ed Feng will join us talking about the NFL draft, where he sees value at FanDuel Sportsbook, his general draft betting process, and much more. Ed's show will be today, which means no show tomorrow. I'll be back with you for last minute draft bets on Thursday. So to get that as it is posted, make sure you're subscribed to Covering the Spread wherever you get your podcasts. And also check us out on the FanDuel YouTube page and FanDuel TV+. Plus. Dingers, blasts, moonshots, whatever you want to call them, everyone loves home runs. With FanDuel's Dinger Tuesdays, you can love them even more. That's right. Dinger Tuesdays are back for another season on America's number one sports book. Just bet on a player to hit a home run, and FanDuel will give you $5 in bonus bets for every home run hit during that game. As if you needed another reason to love the long ball. Make every moment more a FanDuel official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball. Must be 21 plus and present in select states. Bonus issued as non withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Max bonus $25 per game. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. FanDuel is offering online sports wagering in Kansas under an agreement with Kansas Star Casino LLC. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit FanDuel.com slash RG in Colorado, Iowa, Kentucky, Michigan, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Tennessee, Vermont, and Virginia. Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text next step to 53342 in Arizona, 1-888-789-7777. Or visit ccpg.org slash chat in Connecticut. 1-800-9 with it in Indiana. 1-800-522-4700. Visit ksgamblinghealth.com in Kansas. 1-877-770-STOP in Louisiana. Visit mdgamblinghealth.org in Maryland. 1-800-gambler.net in West Virginia. 1-800-522-4700 in Wyoming. Hope is here. Visit gamblinghelplinema.org. Or call 800-327-5050 for 24-7 support in Massachusetts. Or call 1-877-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY in New York. Let's dig in now to Dinger Tuesday and FanDuel Sports. So let's begin at Wrigley Field where the winds are blowing out for today as the Cubs take on the Astros. The Cubs taking on J.P. France. Reverse platoon splits pitcher, so which means we should favor righties against him. But I think the best value in this game specifically is going to be in a lefty, and that's in Michael Bush, who is plus 430 to hit a home run at FanDuel Sportsbook for today. Now, looking back to last year, you'll see that France was much better against right lefties than he was against righties, in large part because his changeup is very good. And that's a pitch he uses almost exclusively against lefties. But the changeup hasn't been quite as good this year. The ex Woba against it is 307, which is still not high by any means, still a good pitch, but it was 216 last year. So it's scaled back a bit, and that's allowed lefties to have more success against France in a small sample this year than they did last year. He's also pitching, again, in tough conditions at Wrigley Field. Uh, winds are out at 10 miles per hour. Not super, super warm, around 60 degrees, but still warm enough to inspire some hope that there will be some offense for tonight. That's where we get to Michael Bush, who has a 19% barrel rate this year with a 50% fly ball rate. That is a great, great recipe for power. So again, we should prefer righties against France because of those reverse platoon splits. But I think there's enough here to like Bush, given a hardy sitting the ball, given that France's changeup may not quite be on the same level it was. And we're getting a plus 430. So given how good Bush has been so far this year, given we get to benefit from the wind being out of Wrigley for Dinger Tuesday, I think that adds up pretty well. So we'll go with Michael Bush plus 430 as our first Dinger Tuesday bet of the day. 
If you were to get an offer on a same game parlay, I think you could look at this game as well as potentially being a, an outlet for that. We'd start with the Michael Bush uh, home run plot prop at four, plus 430. I also do want to take the JP France strikeout under. That's uh, o- o- under four and a half is minus 113. France is not a big strikeout guy. Um, again, does get a bit of a downgrade because of the weather, but 16% strikeout rate this year, 17% last year. Not generating a lot of whiffs, and France has gone over four and a half strikeouts just once so far this year. So I've been projected for 3.78 strikeouts today. That gives me a lot of comfort in taking the under on this number. So you could put those two together. Typically, same game parlay boost offers involve three plus legs. So other one for me would be Jordan Wicks over three and a half minus 138. Tough matchup for him, obviously. As he takes on the Astros, they're a uh, very low strikeout team, 16.7% against lefties, but Wicks has looked good. Um, You know, he started towards the latter half of last year, changing his pitch mix a bit. Uh, Looking back to last year for Wicks, he's been throwing more forcing fastballs this year. He did that in his final start last year, and over that five-star sample, a 25.8% strikeout rate. Not expecting necessarily that number to stay as high as it is, but... He's looked pretty good so far and has gotten relatively high pitch counts. I haven't projected for 95 for today. So if you need a three plus leg, same game parlay, I would go with Wicks over three and a half strikeouts at minus 138. JP France under four and a half minus 113. And then Michael Bush home run plus 430. Combine those together. That's plus 1303. At FanDuel Sportsbook, so a little over 13 to 1 for those three outcomes to occur. I prefer these personally to be just single legs with the Bush home run and the JP France strikeout under props. Uh, but if you need a, a third leg for a same game parlay, if you get an offer for that or a no sweat same game parlay, anything along those lines, that'd be my preferred one, not just for this game, but also just for Tuesday in general. Our second Dinger Tuesday bet of the day is going to be another spot where it can be pretty conducive to home runs. And again, we're incentivized to do that, given that we get a bonus for every home run hit in that entire game. That's going to bring us to this Phillies versus Reds game in Cincinnati. Great place to hit home runs. Now I'm going to go Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm is plus 450 at FanDuel Sportsbook for today. I think that's a pretty good number to get him at for tonight. It's a guy we talked about a couple weeks ago because... He gets a big boost when he's facing a lefty versus what he does overall. Andrew Abbott lets up a lot of fly balls and lets up enough hard contact as well. And Bohm, radically different player against lefties. He has a 41% fly ball rate versus them since the start of last year. 290 ISO. And it does seem like Bohm is starting to get things righted for this year had a double dong last week uh, over the weekend he had a barrel last night as well he's had two of his three barrels this year have come in his past three games he's still not lofting the ball overall as much as you would like but again that does shift when he faces a lefty which is what he's doing for tonight three home runs this year for Bohm. two have come against lefties he had 12 of his 20 home runs against lefties last year So plus 450, not a bad number. And again, we get the added safety of the fact that it's at uh, it's in Cincinnati where we can see a lot of guys hit home runs. You got some Phillies who can go deep as well with shorter odds. So we can benefit from them if we don't bet on them specifically. But of the individuals on this team, my preference is for Bohm. Again, he is at plus 450 hit a home run for today. So the two Dinger Tuesday bets I like most, both in good parks or home runs for tonight specifically, I'm going Alec Bohm plus 450 in this Phillies versus Reds game, and then we'll go Michael Bush plus 430 as the Cubs take on the Astros. That is at Wrigley Field, where the wind again is blowing out. Did want to run through a couple of other bets I like for today over at FanDuel Sportsbook for this MLB slate. They're both strikeout props, and... We're going to start with the under that is on Griffin Canning. He's taking on the Orioles for tonight. And with the way the Orioles have played, that is a very tough matchup. We're going to go with Canning under five and a half strikeouts. That is minus 110. And I did consider some Orioles here for Dinger Tuesday, because if we go back over here, you'll see that the home run odds on guys like Colton Kowser are pretty long. Uh, Heston Kirstad making his debut tonight as well. He's plus 470, but uh, Kowser plus 560, given how well he's hitting the ball, I did give strong consideration to that. And the reason I was there in general is because Canning doesn't seem quite as good as he was last year, which helps us for Dinger Tuesday, but also for strikeout props. 
we've seen Canning cut back on his slider usage this year. It's something he actually began last year as well. And last year, that slider was his biggest whiff pitch by a pretty good amount. Now, this year, his changeup has generated more whiffs than his slider has. Um, so, you know, it's maybe okay that he's throwing more changeups, but the spin rate on that slider is down. It's down in his forcing fastball as well. And it's led to some pretty big bumps in the road for Canning so far. He's led up four plus earned runs in three of his four starts. Now it's worth noting that Canning has made only one start at home so far, and he is at home for today, but, and he was facing tough teams in those games too. But one of those tough teams that beat him up was the Baltimore Orioles. And now get to face him again here in Anaheim, Baltimore got him for five runs across five innings. Canning had just two strikeouts in that game as well. So I have Canning projected at 4.94 strikeouts. Again, he's a five and a half under minus 110. I have his under odds closer to 60%. So pretty good value, at least based on my numbers for Canning to go under. And again, that does give him a bump up for the fact that he is at home. So he is benefiting that is accounted for, but tough matchup here with the Orioles, uh, a team that has already seen him once so far this year, had success against him. Now get to face him again. And they've added some pretty dangerous guys to their lineup since that game as well. Orioles are scary, man, and I don't want to de deal with them. So we'll take the under on Canning, five and a half strikeouts at minus 110. And again, I'd at least look into some of the Orioles home run props. Uh, if you're looking for another Dinger Tuesday outlet, not really into H Henderson or, or Santander. Henderson, three to one, Santander plus 320. I don't mind O'Hearn at plus 430. I think you could go that route too. So O'Hearn plus 430. Um, and then... Kowser plus 560, both considerations for me if you're looking for another Dinger Tuesday outlet, but we'll go uh, with the canning under five and a half strikeouts at minus 110. Final bet for today is one more strikeout prop, but we've had a lot of pessimism for strikeout props so far, so let's go with some optimism. Talk about Ryan Feltner. Feltner is the Rockies starting pitcher, and the Rockies stink. Um, I do show value in the Rockies money line for today. It's a it's 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 frightening. And the reason that I show value on the Rockies money line is that my numbers like Feltner a lot because he's been very good so far this year. So rather than subjecting myself to betting on this hideous Rockies offense, I would much rather just bet Feltner's strikeout over and get exposure that way instead. Now, typically strikeouts are lower at Coors Field. We do have to account for that uh, because the ball moves different. But I think that Feltner's pitch mix is pretty interesting and could potentially allow him to operate pretty well here. He's been awesome so far this year. He has a 27% strikeout rate across four starts. His swing and strike rate is 14.7%. Now, Feltner did not show that a lot last year, but if you look at his track record in the lower minors, like down when he was in double A, he was a pretty high strikeout guy. He's also a different pitcher this year than what he was in a 10 start sample this year or last year. Specifically, Feltner's leaning harder on his slider and his forcing fastball. It also does seem like his changeup is improved from where it was at last year. And his spin rate is up across the board. His velo is up as well. Now, when you're looking at what Feltner has done this year, he's made just one start at Coors Field. And again, strikeouts do decline at Coors, not just because you can get chased early because there are a lot of runs scored, but also because the ball does move differently. So breaking stuff may not work the way you typically assume it would. But in that one start at Coors Field, Feltner had 10 strikeouts. That was pretty good. He's facing the Padres for tonight. They're a low strikeout team, 19.8% against righties on the current active roster since the beginning of last year. I still have Feltner projected for 5.11 strikeouts, so not a bad number. That puts his over odds here around 55%. We're getting plus money on that over right now, so... I'm in personally willing to trust him right here. So we'll go with Ryan Feltner over four and a half strikeouts plus 114. That number's moved a bit, uh, was plus 124 earlier on this morning. But again, I've got his over odds of 55%. So you can use that as a bit of an, uh, a guide when trying to decide if that number has moved more, whether or not it is still a value in your eyes. Again, if you wanted to go Feltner paired uh, with the, the Rockies money line, you could do that. But again, I'd rather just not have exposure to this Rockies offense doing so plus 317 at FanDuel Sportsbook. Again, I'd rather just go with Feltner by himself, but that is a route again. Need uh, some same game parlay action for today, but we'll go with Feltner over four and out strikeouts at plus 114. So to recap, 
spots I'm seeing value for today over at FanDuel Sportsbook. That's Feltner over four and a half strikeouts at plus 114, taking on the Padres. I got Griffin Canning under five and a half strikeouts at minus 110. We'll go uh, with JP France under four and a half strikeouts at minus 113. And the two Dinger Tuesday props, Alec Bohm, Jade Homer plus 450. And then uh, with Michael Bush, Jade Home Run, that is plus 430, all available at FanDuel Sportsbook. That is all that we have here for this show for today. But again, we are back later on Tuesday, probably up around five o'clock or so. Uh, so for your evening, you can check out Dr. Ed Feng and myself here talking about the NFL draft, getting his thoughts on the draft, his process, et cetera. And I'll be back on Thursday with more NFL draft thoughts. No specific show for tomorrow. It's basically the show with Ed, but I want to make sure I get it up in a timely fashion. That's why I'll be going up later on today. To get those as they are posted, make sure you're subscribed to Covering the Spread wherever you get your podcasts. You can find me on Twitter at Jim Saunders. You can also find FanDuel Research on Twitter at FanDuel Research. Want to thank you all for tuning in for today. Good luck to you with your Dinger Tuesday bets. We'll talk to you once again later on today to talk some draft with Ed Fang. This has been Covering the Spread right here on the FanDuel Podcast Network. 